Grab a popcorn and sit down because today I'm going to share a lot of theories. Theories regarding Lee Rong and Jia's relationship. Theories about the baby, who that baby is. Theories about the fox bead and why the fox bead didn't show up and only showed up in episode 4. So stick to the video and let's get into it. End of episode 3 and the whole episode 4 were just amazing. I really hope the director maintains this pace and the drama doesn't get boring. Lee Rang and Jia scene when Lee Rang tries to make Jia inducted to her by granting her wish was really exciting. <laughs> I don't ship them, but I must say that the atmosphere between both of them gives me goosebumps. Like, have you also felt this weird energy between two of them? Let me know in the comments. I don't think there will ever be a romantic thing between Lee Rong and Jia. I really hope there isn't. But I do think that they will get close and become best friends later on in the drama. That will be so cute to see. And I think that when Lee Rong will form friendships with Jia, he will not feel that lonely because right now he is just lonely and have no one to share his worries with. I really love the ending of episode 3 when Lee Yeon breaks the rule of his world and protects Jia. The scene was so cool and had me jumping with excitement. The fiery nine tails at the back of Lee Yeon made him look thousand times hotter. <laughs> But let's talk about that baby that was born in the well at the end of episode 3. At first I thought it might be Aum reincarnation, but by the end of episode 4 and watching the teaser for episode 5, I was sure it's not Aum. So who is that baby? From the teaser of episode 5, it can be seen that the baby is a boy. The boy is growing very fastly than normal babies, so he is not a normal human boy. The boy also had snake skin, which proves that he is the reincarnation of Leon's biggest enemy, the Immogi, the snake lord or monster thingy. That snake monster was one who killed Aum. I think this snake must have the ability to possess someone else's body. And even in the past, the snake monster possessed Aum's body. And that's why Leon had to kill Aum to destroy the snake monster. Also the scene where Jia suddenly turns wicked, that time she was possessed by snake spirit. But the snake couldn't remain in her body for a long period because his powers were very low. But now Lee Rong have incarnated the snake monster and when the snake monster will fully grow up in a man, he will be very powerful and strong and then he will create havoc everywhere. He will go after Leon and even try to hurt Jia. So he will be the major villain of the drama. Episode 4 was the real deal though. And I bet if anyone wasn't hooked to this drama already, episode 4 must have really hooked them in. Because episode 4 is so good and it's by far my favorite episode. There were countless scenes worth talking about in the fourth episode. Firstly, let's talk about Yuri. Because episode 4 showed a lot about Yuri and honestly, I felt so bad for her. She was tortured by humans when she was in fox form. I know her approach towards things is wrong and it's mostly because she's taught by Lee Rang. But I felt the goodness in her. I ship her already with the wet Shinju. Shinju is so cute and such a gentleman. Their personalities are completely opposite to each other and that's what makes their chemistry so hot. Are you rooting for their love story too? Do let me know because I definitely am. <sighs> And that past scene of Lee Rang and Lee Yeon had me in tears. Lee Rang is so wrong about Lee Yeon. Lee Yeon was ordered to kill Lee Rang because he killed so many innocent humans. 
but Li Jun purposely didn't kill Li Rang because he loves his brother so much. And you can see the sadness in Li Jun's eyes. But Li Rang thinks that Li Jun was just unsuccessful in killing. And when Li Rang hurt Li Jun with the knife and Li Jun doesn't say anything to him makes me wanna cry. I really hope the misunderstanding between these brothers end and they get back together and be happy. My most favorite thing about episode 4 was how Jia and Leon started to get closer. Jia cooking dinner for Leon and then their cute moment on the couch. It was those little details, but slowly and gradually we saw them get closer. The whole time I was smiling when they both had a smile on their faces. And the fact that Leon started to attach to her even after not finding the fox bead within Jia made it even more beautiful. But then the most heart-wrenching moment came, Leon's punishment. The scene on the knife bridge was tormenting, but it was all so wonderfully executed. The graphics were great too, but beside that, I love how they showed Jia in trouble at one side and then at the same time Leon crossing the bridge with so much difficulty. It added so much impact to that scene. It felt like it was a last episode of a drama. When Leon finally saves Jia from falling and then Jia puts Leon's head on her lap and cries, oh, that scene was magical. And the fact that Jia never cries and always holds her tears back, but when she saw Leon in that state and cried, it made the scene much more emotional. <laughs> And then the fox bead appeared through the tears and Leon and we all viewers finally found that Jia is the first love. It was just such a magical and emotional scene. So you all must be wondering why the fox bead didn't show up before and only in episode 4 ending. Well, my theory regarding the fox bead is that it showed because Jia started to fall in love with Leon. Without love, the fox bead was dormant within Jia's body, meaning the fox bead would have never appeared if Jia didn't fall in love with Leon. But at the end of episode 4, Jia starts to fall for Leon, and that's why the fox bead that is sleeping wakes up within Jia's body. So, drama family, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the theories and the review. Do comment down your views and theories down below so I can get to know your perspective too. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all again with the next video. Take care of yourself and bye bye.